Climate change seems to be the biggest subject that everybody's talking about these days. But how come everybody's forgotten the basic fundamental questions? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a basic general interest vlog. And today's uh, subject is about climate change or what they refer to as climate change in the the uh, media world. And I have some uh, just basic honest questions about climate change. I'm sure it's been covered in a million other places, but I just want to put together some basic questions that everybody should be asking instead of getting hung up on uh, the po politics of it all. So I'm just curious why main, uh, climate change has become such a main topic at the forefront of all discussion, um, almost nonstop. And uh, I suggest everybody who's, who's interested in this subject, dig, dig deep, go back in the history and, and look, look at what's, what's happened and how much it's been talked about over the years and how it's changed over time and uh, the, the societal changes that are happening as a result. And you might start seeing some answers there. Um, you know, who benefits from this whole big uh, fear. Is it uh, really about saving the planet or is it, are there people financially benefiting or politically benefiting in other ways? Um, and another question is, this is so simple, like how can you trust these people who claim that all these bad things are going to happen when meteorologists and, and scientists in the weather uh, field can't even really predict the weather three days in advance accurately. I look at my 10-day uh, weather forecast and I, I try to make plans and, and it, it changes. Like uh, six days later, it was supposed to be sunny, it's raining. On the days it was supposed to be raining, it's, it's beautiful out. I, they, if they can't figure out that, there's no way we could trust any scientist to tell us that uh, we're going to be flooded in 10 years. I, I don't know. It just seems, uh, and then they're talking about 100 years from now. I mean, what do these people know? They're going to be dead. They don't give a crap what they're talking about today. And what about all these climate fears that happened a few decades ago? They were predicting another ice age. It was on the cover of Time magazine. They were peddling that fear probably to sell heating oil or something like that, or insulation. I don't know. I mean, it, there's always somebody benefiting from these general, uh, scary, global fear uh, tactics. Um, and it's also been uh, proven that the data that they've been using for all these uh, predictions are false. And like people are poking holes in their, in their data and finding that they're fudging information just the same way they fudged the uh, information in that seven continent test about um, eating fat. And then they told everybody, eat more carbs. And look, everybody's bigger than a, than a freaking like mini bus these days. So I don't know. It's, it's just seems like, uh, Everybody has uh, an agenda and they'll do whatever it takes to uh, uh, get that agenda uh, moving. So, but I have a question for anybody that's old enough to remember, you know, 10 summers ago or 40 summers ago or any weather pattern. Like for us, like every summer, winter, spring and fall have been uh, sort of the same. Ever, you ever wonder that? It's been kind of the same. Like you have some summers, like if you can roll oh, the summer of 97, that was hot. It really wasn't hot. It was, they had a maybe a, a there was a two week heat wave perhaps that might have been a little bit unbearable for a little while. And then that gets stuck in your brain as being a hot summer. But when you average out the nighttime and daytime temperatures, it's sort of the same every year. A degree more, it, it doesn't really, uh, there's no real, drastic anything. It's just what, what gets stuck in your brain, you know? So, and, and like some winters are more snowy than others and more, they, you might have a cold wave, like the polar vortex. It's all kind of just hit or miss. Like it's like a roll of the dice at the, at the roulette table. Ah, yeah. Or not roulette table, the um, craps table. You might get some good runs and bad runs and that's just basically how it works out. Um, and another thing that I find fascinating is that the, the mainstream news or people aren't really talking about how the, the solar cycles and the sunspots affect the weather. And it, I think there's more correlation to these solar cycles than there are 
with with human intervention in or human cause with garbage and plastic bags i don't know it, it just seems uh that they're overlooking like the most basic thing like the big fireball that's heating our planet is uh kind of overlooked um and this is the most bothersome thing for me. It's like all these talking heads and, and analysts and politicians, they talk about climate change, or we have to do something about climate change. They're talking about it as if it's a done deal and it's like absolutely like reality. And the way they speak bothers me. It's like, oh, uh, we, because of climate change, we have to do this. And they, ex they don't expect anybody to question them or ask questions like I've been asking in this video because they just they're using it to push an agenda or or to scare people into spending money on something they don't need uh, and that just that's the the biggest uh, bothersome uh, aspect about this whole climate change uh, frenzy that we're all in um, and a very very interesting point is if this whole armageddon this is definitely going to happen right like us little humans are, are going to change anything. But if it's really going to happen, how come all these people aren't moving away from the coastlines with their beachfront properties and so on? The whole coast of the entire country is just packed with uh, people living there and enjoying the high life. You know, wealthy people usually. But they're not running to the hills or the mountains. You, you ever, how, like, do they not believe in climate change? Are they just talking about it? Do they ever look in the mirror and say, man, I feel stupid. I live right by the water. And uh, I'm, you know, liking posts on Facebook about climate change. And I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just still living here. What are you, suicidal? I don't know. It's, it seems weird. And the insurance companies, if you think this, this climate change was so real, they would stop insuring uh, homes that are certainly going to be destroyed by the big tidal wave that's going to hit them tomorrow. Uh, but they're not. So that, that kind of like pokes a hole in that whole big thing there. And of course, then there's the whole, you know, we're, we have to recycle our bags and, and, and use less, uh, we have to use electric cars. But they don't realize that we have a massive military and there's like airliners going around and they don't seem to realize that it's not that it, everybody's polluting i don't know it, it just seems so stupid and lastly like the americans are talking about this climate change and all this other nonsense but they don't realize that there's china which is i don't know uh, three or four or five times bigger than america and india which is i think i can't remember the same size or even bigger than america now um they're polluting like mad and smokestacks and like our efforts are like one percent of the rest of the world so un until the rest of the world gets on board with this whole climate change fix our efforts are fruitless they're useless in fact everybody's wasting their time and people don't realize that they don't look at each other like what the hell are we doing with this nonsense china's pumping out all our iphones and all this garbage and fumes and don't they just say, okay, well, let's just not do it until everybody's like uh, on board with this save the planet nonsense. But that's it. That's all I have for uh, this uh, video. Um, I, I just think it's important to keep the conversation going with the ludicrousness of this whole topic. And uh, no one can answer these questions. They, they redirect and they kick the ball down the field and point fingers and they say all sorts of things, uh, emotional trigger statements that don't really help. No, nothing's changing. Everything's the same. So that's it. Hit the like and the subscribe and I'll see you next video.